Here we are at Hadassah and Karam Hospital in Jerusalem. This is my orientation before five surgeries where I performed as a medical clown. This is Valerie Elbaz, my uh, performance partner and host for this adventure. She's a trained medical clown. Wow. All sterilized. And they let the clowns in here. And they let the clowns in here. Do you believe? Yeah. Do you believe? Here's one of my patients. We'll call him uh, Avi. A lot of fun juggling with him. <laughs> and getting him worked up. In Jerusalem, they're working on many studies of preoperative anxiety in children, medical clowns versus oral midazolam. It's, it's amazing, this idea of connecting with the kid for 15 minutes prior to the surgery instead of giving him a, a uh, synthetic opiate, midazolam, to knock him out before he gets the anesthesia. <laughs> slapstick works. I don't speak Hebrew, but slapstick works. Um, my other performance partner, Sarah, made him this balloon dog, and uh, we asked his mom and dad if they wanted to hold it or if he wanted to hold it, and uh, here we go. Uh, this is Sarah right here waving goodbye. The idea of having the dog is interesting, though, because it's something for the kid to wake up with and to think about. Now, I'm here because... Uh, I work at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. I met a doctor, uh, Dr. Yoel Dohin, who is, is in charge of hospital safety at Hadassah and Karam, and he invited me to this conference. And then they invited me to come and uh, perform, uh, to engage, to, to work as a medical clown in, in Hadassah and Karam. And it's amazing. Um, here's from a study by Dr. Yaakov Gozal. Uh, medical clowns use different techniques, aims to distract the children starting 15 minutes prior to induction and stay with the child until the induction of anesthesia. The child's anxiety level was assessed by psychologists using the modified Yale preoperative anxiety scale. And what is midazolam? It, it is, a, this is from Wikipedia. It was developed by Hoffman LaRoche in the 70s. The drug is used for treatment of acute seizures. Uh, to moderate severe insomnia and for inducing sedation and amnesia before medical procedures. The drawbacks include interactions, tolerance, withdrawal syndrome as well as adverse events including cognitive impairment and sedation. So the question is would you rather have your kid connect with a clown for 15 minutes prior to surgery or uh, to give a uh, this, this synthetic opiate? Uh, this is I, I, I saw the, them adjust the bed height, so here I'm levitating the bed down, which again was more for the dad really than the kid. The kid wasn't paying any attention there. To scrub in and to participate in something like this was just really amazing, and to do the f five in a row to really learn and, and to participate and to be a part of the medical staff was neat. And, and here you can see I, I step out of the way, but the nurse en encourages me to come back, come back to connect with the kid. Do you want the, the little balloon dog from Sarah? No, I'll put it over here. Okay. Which is great. I'm warming up his finger as they're putting on the, the monitor on his index finger. And the medical staff really include include me as part of the part of the team here. Uh, just giving me gas, knock me out, uh, give it to the dad too. Really helping the kid understand. So, uh, a big thank you to Valu and to Sarah, and of course to uh, Dr. Yoel Dohin and the entire group at Hadassah and Karam, and the Dream Doctors who are doing amazing work with medical clowns.